Hey, Ryan here, and I am in the beautiful coastal town of Netanya, Israel. I uh, just got here a few hours ago, getting settled in, trying to shake off a little bit of the jet lag. Uh, seven hour difference, but uh, grateful to see this, to be in this beautiful place, just a little bit uh, north of Tel Aviv and south of Caesarea here along the coast of Israel. And uh, looking forward to taking uh, as many videos as I can this week and just kind of share uh, a little bit of the, the journey with you as I'm going through the land, helping with a tour led by Rabbi Jason Sobel. And um, I'm going to uh, just try to take these short videos and connect the land of Israel to my book, The Weird Apostle, which I'm uh, looking forward when I get back from Israel to, to, to resuming uh, the writing, taking a couple weeks off as I shared in my video yesterday. But you know, as I'm walking along the promenade here, I'm, I'm thinking about um, how it reminds me that, you know, when it comes to Paul, uh, and really I would say the Bible in general, there's only so much you can learn um, and experience when it comes to these things in a library, in a pew, in a book. And this is somewhat controversial, but there's only so much you can learn from the Bible itself. But there's something about being in the places where these, you know, things that we read about, uh, really any part of the Bible, whether it's in the Old Testament, the New Testament, uh, the letters of Paul, whatever it may be, when you actually get to come and see the topography and know that, hey, when I stand here and, and you look over my shoulder and you see the, the water, look, that hasn't changed. That's the water that, you know, uh, Abraham looked at when he was here and that, that Jesus looked at and that Paul looked at. And, and it's just amazing to think that there's certain things, not everything. I mean, obviously, uh, these buildings behind me weren't here. Uh, in, in the days of any of those characters. Uh, but there are many things here in the land of Israel that haven't changed. And so it's so easy when we're reading um, anything historical, but certainly something as important as the Bible, uh, to just sort of imagine the way things were uh, through our own experiences in our own world. But just like my book, The Weird Apostle, it's important to, to make the apostle weird again to gain a better understanding of him. I think it's very important that we, we seek to um, kind of make the Bible weird again, and that the world, the place of the Bible is very different than what most of us uh, have experienced, or really of what all of us have experienced and grown up with. So actually, you know, there, there are so many uh, people who I know, even people watching this for sure, uh, who when you come to the land of Israel and you, you see the Sea of Galilee or you walk the streets of Jerusalem or you even see the, the beautiful Mediterranean uh, coast here, you have these aha moments where it's like, wow, you know, I, I didn't realize that it looked that way or that it was this small or that it was this big or, or whatever it may be. Uh, but I hope that uh, over the next, uh, the next week, as I'm able to take some of these videos, maybe what, you know, some of the places and perspectives that I share will help you to, to understand some things and see things a little bit differently and, and maybe just uh, increase your interest or understanding in, uh, in these wonderful, uh, wonderful stories and accounts that we have in the Bible. So uh, I, guess, uh, I guess what I'm saying is we got to make Paul weird again, but we also got to make the Bible weird again and that it took place in, even though the, the message is, transcends time and, and place, uh, and space, if you will, um, it still had a context. And when we can actually touch and feel and see, and uh, even 2,000 or 3,000 years later, it really can increase our understanding in, in some, some marvelous ways. So I look forward to talking to you more uh, over uh, the next couple days to be continued.